Welcome back to my channel, my crystal kings and queens. So, today's video, um, gosh, I got a bit of a dry throat. I'm just getting off of work and I'm like super duper tired, but um, I wanted to go ahead and do this uh, quick video, hopefully fairly quick. Um, if it doesn't really work out the way I'm hoping, then I may do a part two or part three, however long this may go for. Um, maybe not another series, but you know, if it does become one, then I see no wrong in that. So um, today's video, I just wanted to do, and I'm sorry for, um, or I apologize if I continuously look um, to my left, possibly your right um, on occasions, because I kind of made notes, very minor notes, but it's just to kind of keep me on track. So. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to um, do a video for a while regarding how to reconnect with your crystals. So as well, if many of you don't know, I keep I keep a oops. okay, whatever. I keep a crystal baggie on hand with me no matter what um and for the longest time i've had trouble connecting with my crystals um i had been gone from youtube for a little while um because i had my work schedule had just been extremely crazy i had gotten very very busy school was you know in session at the same time it was just so much going on so um needless to say carrying so many crystals i thought would you know lighten the load somewhat um in regards to my stress but it didn't really seem to do the job um, i wasn't looking for my crystals to completely remove the burden and the overwhelmings and the abundance of stress that I was you know enduring however I was helping I was hoping that it would be somewhat of a tool to just kind of I guess um, you know redirect my mind a little bit elsewhere and um, it, though it would have helped on occasions other times it was just like why am I even carrying so many why do I have so many different crystals that are supposedly you know good for this this and that and you know are supposed to work for certain things at certain times and nothing seems to be getting the job done uh, nothing except me just failing and um, lacking uh, in I guess in the area of freaking just planning appropriately or managing my time a lot um, better and you know just being uh, wiser with my decision making and, and things to that nature so needless to say um, all of that is neither here nor there but it did play a huge part in the huge problem or it, it did play a huge part in the big picture in the problem overall with myself personally so Going back, because I don't want to make this extremely about me, or if at all, I want to explain maybe ways that I felt like helped me to reconnect with my crystals a little better. Um, for starters, I don't want to say, and of course when we all say we don't want to say and then we say what we don't want to say anyway it's in a sense what we're trying to say so um i'm going to advise that if you are the type that may just be like me to want to carry all of your crystals with you um you know just no matter what that's okay but do understand that you know what i mean Unless you plan on moving your crystals to a certain spot and, you know, getting rid of them or hiding them or, you know, what I mean, putting them in places that you can't find them or you can't get to them. It's OK to put those crystals away. I, for the longest time, was doing that. I was carrying so many crystals that it was just so unnecessary. 
very, you know, unhelpful. Um, it, it just wasn't useful the way I needed them to be. So I had to begin with minimizing my crystal baggie. Let me tell you something. My backpack has never been so light outside of like, <laughs> you know, uh, for my ladies, I'm not sure if you've ever heard um, other women be like, man, my purse is so light. And, you know, someone will maybe uh, respond or, or if it's your family member or whatever, someone will respond. Well, it's probably because you ain't got no money. You know what I mean? My backpack has never been that light outside of just not having any money. You hear me? So um, when I decided to minimize my crystal bag, my backpack became so much lighter. Um, I'm so used to carrying like more than 10 plus crystals at a time. Now I literally only have about five at max. Okay. And of course they are probably the same crystals that you know you could think of however i you know i feel like it's just best to stick with a small amount that will help you get by um get your main five or your main four or you know let's try no more than six if possible and see how that does you for beginning um the second thing i'd say is you know it's hard enough to connect with one crystal, let alone six at a time. So if you're trying to reconnect with one of your with one of your crystals, maybe um, of the five or six that you're actually carrying in your crystal bag, pouch, satchel, whatever, maybe try getting to know and understand one of your crystals at a time. Maybe work with one crystal per week and see how that goes. See how that helps you out. Choose one of the six that, you know, you feel is necessary to you, to your situation, uh, prevalent to, you know, what's happening with you at that current moment. Try getting that one crystal and, and just see how that works. A lot of people say, you know, crystal journaling helps them out. I um, haven't really tried that. Uh, myself but I'm not knocking it if that helps you you know to remember the effects or the experiences and you know um, you know remembering uh, what this crystal does for you just by simply journaling by writing this down then go for it um, my way of journaling of course my crystal journals are my videos me sharing with you all my experiences my moments you know you coming along with me in regards um, to to my, you know, I guess my situations in that manner, my crystal situations. So um, I'd say try journaling with that one crystal. Uh, for the longest time, I'll go ahead and show you because I was going to at the beginning, but obviously I didn't really get to it. So my one crystal that I've been keeping, and I keep now all of my crystals in a a Ziploc bag um, only because my velvet pouches and the other pouches that I have I'm not really saving them for any special occasion but I have so many of them that it becomes hard to fit them all in compact areas when you have such thick um, cases around it or, or such thick um, packaging around it so needless to say I keep my crystals in a little Ziploc baggie. It also just makes it a lot easier and um, a lot less heavy when I do carry them in my pouch. So I've been carrying this um, amethyst. Uh, hopefully, let's see. I'm like, so it's a little, it's not as not my most favorite I hate using like the front camera but y'all know what I'm trying to you know the point I'm getting at anyways um I use my um I was using my uh amethyst now I'm like at a loss for words oh my god and I'm scratching myself 
I know it's time to go to sleep, okay? After these long 12 hour shifts, your girl is beat, okay? It's low, low. Anyway, um, for a while, I have been carrying my raw amethyst. And I couldn't understand why I needed it, what the point of it was, but um, I felt like it was something more that I needed to learn about it. Henceforth, me just carrying it, maybe to be able to understand that disconnect and connection. So um, I would carry it around and I also could not name it. I had no name, I, I knew not you know, what to call it. I just, we were lost together. So, um, you know, some time would pass and then I came to realize what I will call, you know, this little beauty here, this little guy. And um, I did also find that it had a very masculine energy, but very fun, playful, uh, shy at times, very weird. Um, just extremely colorful um, is is the best way I could describe it. So, uh, and also very odd things would happen while this crystal was in my presence. So I decided to name him Mad Hatter. And, um, you know, you can add to it or take from whatever um, you may in regards to that name, but it's what I decided to call him because just so many weird funny odd little things would happen while i had him so you know i only got that and i would only know that from connecting with him from carrying it with me from you know sleeping with it at night from you know just um spending more time spending time with this one specific crystal uh, maybe you know praying with it, sitting with it in my meditation uh, moments, just what have you. It all came down to just me simply spending time with it though. And that was one of the best ways to connect with this crystal because I've had it for such a long time and not once um, up until this year alone, um, maybe two months ago, I decided to start carrying this around and now I can't put it down. So um, you know, I say, you know, the second, again, the best way, just for me to reiterate, the best way for you to reconnect with your crystal, number one, um, would be for you to just kind of minimize the amount of crystals that you're actually carrying with you. It's no need to carry, you know, 10, 13 crystals. I'm going to say, because I have a thing with numbers seven at most, and I really don't feel like, you know, um, a person has to have that many crystals, but that's my opinion. And, you know, my opinion only belongs to me. So um, I think, you know, if, you, if you're if you serious about, you know, connecting with them, try keeping them at a minimum, you know, in your pouch, satchel, bag, what have you, whatever you carry your crystals in. The second thing, of course, would be to grab one of those six to seven crystals or five six to seven crystals whichever whatever grab one of those crystals and spend time with that crystal you know doing multiple things that you know just make you feel good um each week and then you know this week you you have one crystal and maybe that second week if you're still bonding if you're not still bonding with that first crystal grab the second one and you know so on and so forth so that's that um that's the second way i would advise the third way would be, gosh, was there really a third way? I think it was probably a question that I was just going to answer instead. So let me think. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I think um, what I was going to say was um, some wonder why they can't uh become or why they don't feel as attached to that crystal anymore or why do they feel like they can't you know make any connections with that crystal maybe i'd say maybe um because that crystal at that moment is not what you need um and then when i say that because you know i don't want anyone to come out here and think 
that I'm saying, you know, crystals are just the end all be all. They're going to do the job for you. They're going to get it done and you will have no worries whatsoever. 100% wrong. That is not what I'm saying at all. Um, I'm saying, you know, we specifically have these crystals here. Um, a lot of people don't like the term meant as tools. Um, I just simply keep it as simple as pocket prayers. I mean, whatever works for you. Different strokes for different folks. Each is on. You know, what works for me might not work for you. So whatever it is that makes you feel better about <laughs> what you're doing, go for it, okay? I say there is no wrong or right, wrong or right way in this matter um, or in this matter. So, um, you know, maybe, again, maybe you don't feel as attached to that crystal because, you know, it's just not the crystal meant for you at that time, at that moment. Maybe you need something brighter. Maybe you need something a little more chill. You know what I mean? Go through what you have, you know, just intuitively kind of, you know, pick around with your, you know, just with your intuition. Let your intuition be your guide or let your feelings or emotions take over, you know, close your eyes and think about what it is that you're experiencing, you're feeling. What is it that you want to I guess, um, nip in the bud at that manner or, or to minimize or maybe maximize for that matter. Uh, think about those things and then sort through your crystals that way so that maybe you find or that crystal finds you in the appropriate manner or, or for that appropriate moment, if that makes sense. So, um, that's the third thing. Um, and yeesh. Um, da -da 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 -da. Mm -mm. Okay, why is it that I no longer have the need or want to use or connect with my crystals anymore? Mm. I've also gone through this and Excuse me. I just felt like, you know what, nothing was going right for me at the moment, at the time. And um, I'm like, you know, maybe I just need to back away from everything, just kind of regather myself. And maybe when I come back, I want to pick up a crystal or two or, you know, I don't know, find that that, you know, burning joy and fire that I had for my crystals again. Um, I have gone through this transition over and over and over again. I have had many a moments where I have pushed my crystals aside. I have put them all back in my crystal units. I have just felt no need to use them, to be around them, nothing. And um, to me, because I know what crystals stand for in my life and I know how prevalent they are to me and how important they are to my spirit, um, to what it is that I've already experienced, what they've helped me through, I had to push that selfish side of me, that very, um, very negative spirit in my regards. I had to, I had to push that aside. I had to find ways to remove that. That was just a personal prayer that I had to, you know, sort through. Like me and the good Lord had to have a talk about that. So I can't really tell you um, what to do about that however i i will say you know we all need a moment um now depending on what type of moment that is what you don't want to do is isolate yourself away from everything and and remove yourself from all types of surroundings we need you know we are, we're humans we are in need of of things whether that be people love like we're, we're in need of love for sure everybody needs love and i believe that for as long as that one thing you know is instilled upon you i feel like it's okay to find something that's going to give you a push a boost to keep something if any you know in your corner for my crystal kings and queens to keep something around is uh very relevant um it's it's dire you know you need something my family my mom my grandma my great grandma 
all of us, you know, all of those that come before me, came before me, here and now, we used to say, you know, um, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. You want to give your mind something to do. You want to have something to think about, something to reflect on, good things, you know. So keep, you know, keep a crystal in hand. Keep keep one around you. So I know that feeling like you don't want those things around you, you know, it, you may just be sitting in a bit of a negative space and that's okay. It's natural. It's normal. But for how long? You don't want to sit in that space for long. You want to you 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 want to find a way to get out of it. You need a way to remove yourself from that negativity. And so I believe my thoughts alone, my opinion, you know, my opinion alone. You don't own it, doesn't belong to anyone except me. So you don't have to take it. Um, but my opinion is that you keep a crystal around. That way it reminds you not to soak in those things that aren't good or healthy for your mind, your spirit, you know, your internal self, that type of thing. So that's that may or may not have answered that question, but that's just, those are just my thoughts in regards to that. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to kind of move on from that and I'm going to let you dabble where you may in that uh, in that sense, and I'm going to go ahead to the very last uh, point or very last question, which is uh, because my video has definitely turned out to be a lot longer than I wanted. Um, the, the last question is, why do I get sick when I have too many crystals with me or around me? Could be because it's just you, you're already filled with energy and now you are mixing a ton of crystals around you on top of that you got these different colors you got these different you know levels of of you know energy auras like you got so much going on you know your chakras are all mixing together you got these different crystals that kind of clash at one time bring it all through you know bring it all together for you and it's just a graffiti effect is what i call it and that's kind of new because yeah, I don't look, I didn't pull that from anywhere except from now. So um, I, I'll call it the graffiti effect when too much is going on that it just becomes unnecessary and unwanted. Um, it's just like when you eat too much and you know you shouldn't, but <laughs> it just tastes so good. It feels so good at that moment going down. And then after you have completely finished your meal or finished devouring all that you have eaten now you're like a little sick to the stomach it could be something like that it's just your energy your your personal aura your being we can handle but so much and when we're already going and antsy and hyped up you know what i mean to bring so many different other you know sets of energy around you together in one you know melting pot so many colors so many you know vibrations at one time so many you know energy level sets it's just it's too much for you at once that could be the reason you know your body becomes overwhelmed with energy like that's just it that it becomes sickening and um it, it's not intentional but i also know that i've done that to myself like i've just i've wanted all my crystals around me you couldn't tell me nothing like i need my crystals they're gonna be here boom let me do what i want to do <laughs> and um i got to a point where i'm just like why do i have such a nasty migraine why do i feel so sluggish and drainy and i can't get myself together it was because one my backpack was like full like just straight full filled with crystals to the tip top of my crystal baggie that it made no sense. I was just like a whole official bag of lady. Don't want to be that, okay? Like, <laughs> you go hurt your back. I'm just saying, like, you got to slow down. You can't, <laughs> you can't overwhelm yourself with that many uh, crystals. You can, but it's just ultimately not good for you. One, because a lot of the crystals do the same thing. 
they have a lot of the same effects, a lot of the same qualities and characteristics, that type, that type of thing. Um, but you don't need that many. So um, I'd say, or my advice would be to, again, take it all the way back to, you know, point number one, minimize. You know, you don't need, it's, it's just not necessary to have more than seven, if any. I don't even believe you have to have that many. Right now, I'm carrying about five. So I'm a little close, but I ain't there yet. So um, just try to, to minimize the amount of crystals that you have. Um, and, and just see how that feels. Try working with them one by one. You know, try just connecting with that one crystal for a certain week. And, you know, then see how you feel. Journal about it. Write about it. You know, talk about what it does for you. How it makes you feel. What changes you begin to see, you know, happening around you, you know, or or within you from just simply carrying this crystal with you in whatever way that may be for you. Um, and, and just, you know, kind of go from there. Um, try keeping a crystal with you, no matter. Um, you don't have to, but this is this is strictly for, for my crystal kings and queens that are just completely crystal spirited and have to carry something. Uh, aka a crystal with you so um that's just my babble for the morning um fresh off of work i'm so tired i need to lay down this video has become well over the amount of time that i wanted it to so i want to go ahead and get out of here hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day your morning your evening whichever time zone you may be in at the mo at the moment um and i'm about to give me some rest i've eaten i need to wash my face and you're all gonna lay down okay um so thank you all so much for watching crystal kisses and royal blessing i know it's been a minute since you've seen my face so hey um but i love you all i will see you